Why Hydrogen Cars Flopped Once hailed as the ultimate solution to fossil fuel dependency, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles burst onto the scene with the promise of revolutionizing transportation. Championed by presidents and propelled by billions in funding, they seem destined for dominance. Yet the roads today tell a different story. So what happened to the bright future of hydrogen cars and could a resurgence be lurking just over the horizon? Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles emerge as a promising green technology that envisioned transforming the automotive industry. The concept of using hydrogen as a fuel is not new, with the roots of hydrogen fuel cell technology dating back to the 19th century. However, it was during the early 2000s that hydrogen cars started to gain substantial attention. Former President George W. Bush notably advocated for hydrogen fuel technology in his 2003 State of the Union address, proposing significant funding to catalyze development. This initiative injected $1.3 billion into research and development, aiming to bring hydrogen vehicles to the forefront of consumer choices by creating a hydrogen infrastructure and subsidizing technology advancement. The allure of hydrogen fuel was not just a policy stance, but was underpinned by substantial advancements in fuel cell technologies, which promised a cleaner alternative to the internal combustion engine. Auto manufacturers such as Toyota, Honda, and Hyundai began exploring hydrogen fuel cells seriously, producing vehicles that showcase this technology's potential in real-world conditions. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles offered a host of appealing promises that targeted the core deficiencies of gasoline vehicles and early electric vehicles. Eco-friendliness was perhaps the most compelling promise. Fuel cell vehicles emit only water vapor and heat, making them zero-emission vehicles at the point of use. This starkly contrasts with gasoline vehicles which emit carbon dioxide, particulates, and various other pollutants that contribute to climate change and air quality issues. Longer driving distances was another significant advantage. FCVs can cover 300 to 400 miles on a full tank, a range comparable to the conventional vehicles and superior to the early generations of electric vehicles which were grappling with limited battery capacity and range anxiety among consumers. Faster refueling times provided a practical edge over EVs. A hydrogen fuel cell could be replenished in just three to five minutes, akin to refueling a gasoline vehicle. This was a stark improvement over EVs, which at the time required several hours to charge fully, and even today takes significantly longer to charge compared to the quick refueling times of hydrogen or gasoline. The journey of hydrogen as a future fuel gained substantial momentum under the administration of President George W. Bush, who saw hydrogen fuel cells as a cornerstone of America's energy independence and environmental sustainability strategy. In 2003, President Bush announced a significant investment in hydrogen technology, earmarking $1.3 billion for the Hydrogen Fuel Initiative. This initiative aimed to develop technology capable of commercially viable hydrogen-powered fuel cells. The support didn't just highlight the technological promise of hydrogen, it also positioned it as a strategic element in reducing reliance on imported oil and cutting greenhouse gas emissions. This governmental banking catalyzed interest across various sectors. Automakers accelerated their hydrogen R&D programs. Energy companies began evaluating hydrogen production and distribution logistics, and new startups emerged to explore innovative hydrogen storage solutions. The public funding acted as a multiplier, encouraging private investment and collaborative ventures, potentially setting the stage for a hydrogen-driven economy. Explanation of the technology behind hydrogen fuel cells and their advantages over traditional gasoline. Hydrogen fuel cells generate electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen without combustion, with water and heat as the only byproducts. So here's a simplified breakdown of the process. Hydrogen storage and delivery. Hydrogen gas is stored in high pressure tanks and delivered to the fuel cell stack. Oxygen intake. Air is brought into the fuel cell where oxygen is separated and directed to the cathode side of the fuel cell. Electrochemical reaction. At the anode, hydrogen molecules are split into protons and electrons. The electrons travel through an external circuit to the cathode, creating an electric current that powers the vehicle's electric motor. Water formation. The protons pass through a proton exchange membrane to the cathode, where they combine with oxygen and the electrons, which have traveled around the circuit, to form water, which is expelled as vapor. This process provides several advantages over traditional gasoline-powered engines. Zero tailpipe emissions. Unlike gasoline engines, which emit carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and other harmful pollutants, the only byproduct from a hydrogen fuel cell is water vapor, making it an environmentally friendly alternative. Energy efficiency. 
Fuel cells convert chemical energy directly into electrical energy with efficiencies potentially double that of internal combustion engines, which lose a significant amount of energy as heat. Reduced oil dependency. Hydrogen can be powered from a variety of resources, including renewable sources such as water, thereby reducing dependency on fossil fuels and enhancing energy security. Quiet operation. Fuel cells operate quietly, reducing noise and pollution, which is a significant issue with conventional vehicles, especially in urban settings. The decline in the popularity of hydrogen vehicles despite early promises. Despite the strong initial enthusiasm and significant investment, the adoption of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, also known as FCVs, has not lived up to expectations. The anticipated revolution in automotive technology faced challenges that were numerous and hindered widespread consumer acceptance and market penetration. This decline can be attributed to several interrelated factors that collectively impacted the viability and attractiveness of hydrogen as a mainstream automotive fuel. A detailed exploration of these factors that led to this decline included high production and infrastructure cost. One of the primary barriers to the adoption of hydrogen vehicles has been the high cost of production and infrastructure. Hydrogen fuel cells require expensive materials, including platinum, which is used as a catalyst in the fuel cell stack. Additionally, the costs associated with setting up production facilities for hydrogen fuel cells are significantly higher than those for conventional vehicles or even electric vehicles. The infrastructure for hydrogen fueling is another critical expense. Building a single hydrogen refueling station can cost up to $2 million, significantly higher than the cost of an electric charging station or a traditional gas station. This high initial investment has been a deterrent for both private sector and governmental backing beyond initial funding phases. Limited refueling infrastructure and the convenience issue. Hydrogen fuel infrastructure is severely underdeveloped compared to gasoline and electric charging stations. As of now, there are only a handful of hydrogen refueling stations available, most of which are concentrated in specific areas like California. This limitation severely restricts the practicality of owning a hydrogen vehicle, particularly for those living outside these hubs. The scarcity of refueling options means that hydrogen car owners must plan their routes carefully and are often forced to adapt their travel to the locations of refueling stations. This inconvenience significantly detracts from user experience and practicality of hydrogen vehicles, making them less attractive compared to more readily refueled or charged alternatives. Comparison of performance with conventional and other alternative energy vehicles. When it comes to performance, hydrogen vehicles generally offer comparable range and refueling times to conventional vehicles. However, they often fall short in acceleration and top speed when compared to similarly priced EVs. Environmental impact and the efficiency of hydrogen production. Although hydrogen vehicles themselves are clean, producing only water vapor is a byproduct, the overall environmental footprint of hydrogen fuel is dependent on how the hydrogen was produced. Currently, most hydrogen is generated from natural gas in a process that emits carbon dioxide, negating some of the environmental benefits. Additionally, the energy efficiency of the hydrogen life cycle is relatively low. The economic challenges of hydrogen vehicles are significant. First, the vehicles themselves are pricey. For example, the 2021 Toyota Mirai starts at around $50,000. Hydrogen fuel costs about $16.50 per kilogram, and that leads to refueling expenses that can surpass $80 to fill a typical tank. Infrastructure costs adds another layer of economic complexity. Hey, that's all for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.